During the nine-day election campaign that ended last Saturday, the number of blog articles in cyberspace grew nearly tenfold, showing the online community's interest in a general election. Observers have hailed this as the first election in which the internet had an impact on Singapore's political culture. Fabro Rahim finds out why. Singapore being one of the most plugged-in and internet-savvy countries in the world, it's no surprise that GE2006 was closely watched and discussed online. One indication before Parliament was dissolved, the number of blog articles on the election was about 20 a day. This doubled to more than 40 after Parliament was dissolved in the run-up to nomination day, the number averaging over 190 during the nine-day election campaign. The interest has not waned even after the results, with 195 blog articles posted daily since polling day. It is a very interesting trend. I think this is the first time that citizen journalism is really taking its form in Singapore election. Right? Of course, in the last election, 2001, blogging doesn't exist then. Citizen journalism, probably the best expression is through the use of blogs. And it is very prevalent in this election over here. Right? Like uh, a lot of people took it upon themselves. Right? They feel empowered with technology to go out and report what they see, what they feel, what they hear from each election, giving a very detailed account online. From blogs like Yawning Bread, Singapore Election and SG Rally, the James Gomez saga topped the blogs as an election theme, followed closely by a state upgrading. This according to Nick's Labs, which monitors online trends. The hottest GRC discussed was Alginet. One blog received about 5,000 to 6,000 hits, double the usual number. Serious discussion aside, there were also political satires like this one by bloggers Mr. Brown and Mr. Miyagi, which is a parody of the James Gomez affair. This podcast alone had 60,000 downloads and some 100,000 partial downloads. So what do the numbers mean? In this election, clearly the Internet took a much more prominent role in defining the news agenda and in helping people to sort through the issues, to discuss the issues. So there are these subtle transformations of Singapore's political culture in terms of making politics a little less serious, a little less formal, uh, increasing the ability of people to comment upon it, to add variations on it, to think new, to reformulate policies in, in perhaps more nuanced ways that hasn't been there before. Political parties also made their presence felt in cyberspace. The People's Action Party rejuvenated its young PAP website to include a forum to discuss the latest issues. While observers said opposition parties also tapped on the internet like the Workers' Party and the Singapore Democratic Party. The election may be over, but observers say...